Well, good evening, everyone. What I am most proud of Panglao is Panglao has one of the most world-class world beaches in the world. We have the most great dive site, and we and the inhabitants of Panglao are the most friendliest folk you would ever hope to meet. We Panglaoans proud ourselves, and we believe we are very religious. So I, I believe that with that alone, I am very proud of Panglao and to be a Panglaoan descent. Thank you. Thank you very much, Amanda. Please step forward for your final score from the judges. Our next uh, semi-finalist is candidate number nine. All right, we have Lalaine Narmachwala. She's a nursing student from Holiday Inn University. All right, how do you feel being a semi-finalist, Lalaine? I'm happy, but I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> don't worry, I'm here to, you know, to uh, as much your nervousness, okay? So don't worry about that. So, what advocacy are you campaigning for? I, I know that your brother, that your younger brother, is the SK chairman also of Bill Isan. So, you have an ally, you have a powerful ally when it comes to the implementation of the project. You have your project, so, who's some of the project? Well, as a nursing student, my advocacy will be about promotion of healthy lifestyle. It's like we will be conducting a door-to-door -door health teaching, educating every family members on the right way of proper hand washing, because sometimes we neglect performing it without bearing in our minds that hand washing is very much important, for it's our first line of defense against those disease-causing microorganisms. And as the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. Thank you very much, Lalaine. Gabi, no? you should be proud of your lovely ladies here in Paolo. They're not only beautiful, they can express themselves. Let's give them a big round of applause, please. All right, your final question, Lalaine. All right, your final question is, okay, what is the question? Okay, your question is, uh, describe Banglao with one word. Again, okay? describe Banglao with one word. I believe this, this word should be an adjective. Now, why did you choose that word? Are you ready? Okay. First of all, good evening everyone. I will choose the word captivating because that word mean, that word is really describes Panglao. Despite the fact that we are a, a little island, there's something extraordinary about Panglao that captivates every individual, local, Filipino locals and foreigners alike. Americans, for example, despite, despite the existence of vast California beaches, American tourists never cease to come in. And with that, we should be proud and that would be all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lily. Yeah, yeah, you're nervous. Don't worry. Okay? You're in good hands. Okay. Step forward, please, for your final score. All right. Our next uh, semi-finalist is... Okay, I cannot see. Who is this guy? Okay, candidate number 11. Okay, MJ. How do you feel, MJ? Have a seat. Right? Are you nervous also? Yes, I'm nervous. Don't worry. Okay, are you nervous? Yes, sir. Okay, I will make things worse. I will ask you a very difficult question. <laughs> okay, your question is, Unsa may imong proyekto nga nahuna-hunaan para sa imong SK chapter? We are planning to make a basketball court. Siya naman. <laughs> okay, so how are you going to uh, come up with the funding for your basketball court? Maybe we will, if we have not enough fund, we will give some solicitation and uh, yeah, donation. Uh, we will ask maybe Mayor some money. Oh, Mayor Alcala, huh? Don't forget, Bolot? Oh, no, uh, Bolot. Okay, so Bolot to the mayor, huh? Bolot. Okay, what else? <laughs> okay. So anyway, okay, we'll ask her okay, the final question. Pick one question, please, Angel. Okay, that'll be your question. So, what would you treasure the most from your Miss Panglao pageant experience? Again, Okay, you have been with the girls, you have been with the organizers for the past month. A month of uh, difficulties, 
challenges staying late at night. Can you imagine this lady stayed until 3 a.m. Ganina? And for that, we are very thankful to the parents. I mean, support and very, uh, you know, very understanding. So, sa ano pa nang experiences niyo? What would you consider as or would you treasure the most? As the most valuable na uh, treasure niyo mga memory from the Miss Panglao experience. I treasure the most the opportunity to generate people for my co-candidates and make them one of my friends. In a short period of time, we are gonna make it all happen and we are now <laughs> and we are now friends because we can understand each other. Thank you. Okay, so you don't see this as a competition but rather a solidarity, a sisterhood, a sorority. Okay, Diva? Okay, thank you very much, MJ. Step forward, please. Okay, let's welcome candidate number six from SK Lourdes. Okay, the lookalike of Angel Aquino. Oh, Angel Luxin. Okay, Angel Luxin. But didn't you magis it, eh? Huh? Did you magis it? Ah, uh, ayun na lang lingkod ko kasi yung... <laughs> so anyway, I love your evening gown. Who made your evening gown? Dudes. Dudes. Ah, bila ko yung, hey dude? <laughs> anyway, uh, I'd like to ask you your question. Okay, I'll just make you relax. Okay, so, uh, what's my more advocacy na yung mong i-implement nun ta, uh, Mary Rose? We were planning to build a sports club for the youth so that they will make themselves busy to sports so that they could avoid um, any illegal activities. And aside from that, we could also be healthy not just physically, but in all the dimensions of health. Second year high school, Second year high school. I can believe it. Okay, so you're very poised and ready. Okay, Pam, can you, can you please uh, join me here? Okay, uh, pick your question, Rose. Thank you, Pam. Question, okay, here's a good question. Beauty queens come and go. If you will be crowned as Miss Panglo 2011, how do you want your reign to be remembered? Again, beauty queens come and go. If you will be crowned as Miss Panglao 2011, how do you want to be, your reign to be remembered? Are you ready? Well, if I will be crowned to be the Miss Panglao 2011, I want my reign to be remembered um, in such a way that I'm a role, mod role model and a good leader to the youth and so that they could and so that they could remember me. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much. This is uh, Rose Utali from uh, SK Lourdes. Okay, our next candidate is number fourteen. Another Rose, Tony Rose. Okay, I thought you were getting married. Okay, let's be careful. Okay. So anyway, uh, what, what is your what what project are you going to implement for for SK uh, advocacy, Rose? Um, we built um, our own office and other facilities. And aside from that, we are planning to um, involve our tree planting in our barangay. Okay, so you're going to uh, plant trees in your office. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be a tree planting for the green and green at the same time to have your own office. Okay, very good. Now, can we have the uh, end of the, oh no, the, the, the magic one. Thank you, pal. Uh, hey, Rose, can I have the uh, magic one? Okay, Rose, here it is. What does being Miss Panglao 2011 mean to you? Again, what does being Miss Panglao 2011 mean to you? Are you ready? Um, joining Miss Panglao 2011, for me, winning this pageant is a big responsibility to be a good role model to all and 